everything you say just sounds delicious. <laughs> like, there's something about your delivery that I'm like, I don't know if you're giving me ingredients on a pizza or the most profound thing anyone's ever said, but it just sounds like magic. This is uh, <laughs> three years classical training in drama, you know, coming into, into use now. No, wait till you hear Charles Michael Davis. He yeah. has a hell of a charming voice. Yeah. <laughs> How do you think the fans will react when they see that revised first episode and the second episode? I mean, I, I have to hope it will be positively. I've read the first two scripts, and I'm so, just so excited. They both feature elements of flashback. You know, they're, they're both really on a larger scale. You know, it, you saw the sizzle reel. This is a war that we're building towards. The first episode we're doing is on the same place. It takes place on the same timeline as the pilot, only this time we're seeing Elijah's point of view. So we're seeing all the little bits that we didn't see when... Uh, the pilot aired so it's really uh, very exciting for me and it has a heart stopping ending just watch out for my uh, period costume I'm wearing it's, I, I, I modelled it on uh, the vampire Lestat so I'm looking forward to, to you know swanning about with some frills on my sleeves I don't think we've ever seen you shirtless on the vampire diaries oh yeah we have how is that possible I was naked utterly naked in my fourth episode and then I got away with about two years of keeping right, my clothes on right. the end of season four I think episode 16 and eight, 18 I was shirtless all the way through so I feel like that's bought me some time now you know <laughs> it's, it's got to be Charles Michael Davis's turn right or right. when has Elijah ever been shirtless come on let's <laughs> let's do that I just did a, a movie in New Orleans where I was playing a um, an experimental chemist who manufactures illegal drugs and tries them himself. So I tried to lose a lot of weight for that. And so I, I don't think I'm quite uh, CW ready yet to uh, take my shirt off again. I need to put a little more muscle on, you know. Was that challenging, taking the weight off? Uh, yeah, yeah. I was just hungry all the time. It's a lot it's of cardio how that works, huh? and, yeah, just starving. And then... We wrapped the movie and I was all about grilled cheese sandwiches and beer, you know? <laughs> I just think the responsible thing to do in a show like this is to just sort of do a PSA to the young fans at home mm -hmm. that should you choose to have a one-night stand, you really should make sure she's not a werewolf. Pay attention, guys. This is serious. If you, you know, you're, you, you meet a girl and it's, it's innocent, you're having fun, you're drinking some whiskey... You know, you're showing her your paintings and uh, one thing leads to another and you do end up having a one night stand. Then try and make sure that she doesn't turn into a bloodthirsty ravenous beast every full moon because it's just going to get complicated. Be safe.